So hello everyone, today I will show you how you can export your MetaHuman into Blender so that you can do your hair simulation or you can create your clothes for your MetaHuman. I'm just showing how to export this thing in Blender but you can use any software, it doesn't matter. So the first thing that you have to do, if you are having any kind of animation and if you want to export the MetaHuman with animation uh, in other software, then what you have to do? You have to first make sure that you create a level sequencer so you can see i have a level sequencer over there you have to just click on this one select your meta human and you have to just click on add bp copper and you will see something like this okay you have to remove this face and control rig and then what you have to do you have to just attach your animation so in my case i will attach this one so this is a simple animation so in order to export the meta human with animation to blender uh, what we have to do we have to bake this animation with the character so how we can do that so you have to just shift this thing a little bit forward because we want to make this thing in like a pose or you can say t pose because if you try to do any kind of hair simulation or you can say cloth simulation so it is better to have a t pose or a pose to create cloths and then attach that cloth to the character because if you just bake the animation from the beginning like in this pose then what will happen is uh, it is very hard to create cloth with this pose so after that what you have to do you have to just go to your body there you will see an option called bake to control rig you have to click on the CR meta human body and then you have to press OK. So now you can see our keyframes or you can say animation are baked into keyframes like this. And then what you have to do next is you have to zoom in and you have to remove this keyframes. Okay. So we'll just remove uh, this things and press backspace like that. And now you can see the keyframes are removed and we have empty stuff so you can see it is slowly coming down like this uh, i don't want it to be like uh like this i want it to be stay for a few seconds in the same pose so what i will do i will just click on this one hold shift and middle mouse and then you have to just drag drop this okay so what we are doing by this we are just duplicate the keyframes and we are staying at the a pose for a while and then we are slowly coming down like this okay so i want it to be like this and then what we have to do is we have to make sure that our end frame is properly aligned with the animation or else it will create problems in blender or any other softwares because when you export your files like your hair simulation or your cloth simulation it will create some problems so we have to do this thing like that and just double check everything that it is working fine so this thing is done and now what i want is i want to bake this animation you have to just click on the body right click and there you will see a big animation sequence you have to click on that and then you have to select your folder uh, i will select so you have to select your folder and then you will see some options okay so you don't have to change anything just click on export to animation sequence so if you go to your folder you will see something like this so right now it is having just the body we have to add the head and the shoes also and if you are having a pant then you have to add the pants also okay you have to just Control d duplicate this thing i will need this thing face right click replace the skeleton so you will see something called face r key type skeleton you have to select this one so this is actually the face trick of the meta human so you can see now there we have the face we have the body and now we have to add the pants also so you have to just Control d this thing just name this thing pants double click this one and this one you will see that this is in the shoes so you have to change the shoes to pants so i will just pause this animation you have to just go there and you have to search for your pants i have the pant i have this pants so you have to select the pants that you have in your meta human then you have to press apply save and then you have to close this thing so now if you go to your content browser you will see we have face we have body and we have pants so you can similarly export the shoes also you have to just duplicate this thing and you have to assign your shoes right now i really don't need shoes because i want to do some kind of cloth simulation so I just need the body and the pants and the head, okay? So now our animation, this three animation are baked in. And now we want to export this thing into Blender. So make sure that you save everything because it can be very painful if Unreal Engine crash. And now we will export this thing into Blender. We will select the body. I will rename this thing to body. You have to go to the asset action, export. Make sure that you use 2013 and just copy these things. And bake actor animation, bake all. Make sure that you bake everything. 
and i think everything is good enough and then you have to press export you will see we have i will just remove the face one we have the body go to your blender file import fbx click on your body and then import so now you can see we import all the animation with the mesh and blender and the same thing will apply to any other software like maya or anything you can export like this so like this we will export our pants and head and then there we have the pants i will export this thing do not try to export everything at the same time because it will create some problem so you have to export everything uh, one by one so you have to make sure that you properly check this settings press export go to your blender file import fbx we have pants import and now you can see we have pants also that is properly animated and all the meshes are there so the face one is little bit not tricky but if you try to export it like this it will not work so i will just show you same settings export it will take some time because we have so many skeletal mesh or you can say rig in the face okay just go to the file import fbx and then there we have the face and now if you export the face you will see you will get some python error because it is not supported and the animation is not exported so what you have to do you have to go to your browser and you have to you have to download one stuff auto desk fbx converter so this is the website so you have to go there you will see a fbx converter go to the windows and you have to make sure that you use download 13.2 because in 13.3 there is a virus so you have to make sure that you download this one 13 uh 2013.2 and then you have to install that thing and when you open that fpx converter you will see something like this you have to just go your folder select your face drag drop this thing there and you will see something like this you don't have to do anything just press convert so it will try to convert everything into uh, another fbx that is compatible with the blender and now it is done you can see convert it close this thing and open your blender and you will see there in your file manager you will get a fbx 2013 and in this one you will get a face one so you have to use this thing okay so go to the files fbx 2013 face fbx import fbx and when you export your face now you will see all the animation and everything is there with the face rig okay and now what you can do you can do any kind of animation with your character like if you want to create any kind of cloths with this one you can create and if you want to create hair simulation you can create that one also and this is the easiest way that i found on internet to export the meta human into this one if you want to export the textures also so i don't know about the textures you can watch some other tutorials definitely they will show you how to export the textures also and yeah that's it for this tutorial i think it will help you thank you for watching